Hello everybody, today I am reporting live from the Peak District. I am here at my friend's farm and it's absolutely amazing. I've never seen quite so many animals in my peripheral vision as I have today. Um, my boyfriend and I are driving up to Scotland for the rest of the day, which should mean about seven or eight hours in the car. And I'm going to try and do my best both before, during and after this long drive to make sure that my body doesn't seize up and get frozen because it's been sat down all day. So I really, really feel the effects of not moving regularly, not exercising regularly, and I don't want my body to get stiff by the end of the day because I know that I'll feel it tomorrow. So I'm going to give you three really easy exercises to do that require no equipment, no special room, no special trainers, no special anything. You can do it wherever you are in the world. All you need is a tiny bit of space around you. You don't quite need as much space as I've got here. So we're going to get started. I'm barefoot on some uh, cobbled stones and I want to try and make sure that you can see my whole body as we do this. So I want you to stand with your feet hip width apart and your toes pigeon toes. So get those toes touching, ankles slightly wide. You're going to do golfer's grip for me. If you don't know what golfer's grip is, watch my YouTube channel. There's a video on golfer's grip. Take your hands to the side squeeze your, your shoulder blades back and down behind you as far away from your ears as you can possibly get them and you're trying to keep your rib cage down don't let the rib cage flare up and dunk into your lower back as you do this exercise so squeeze your shoulders back and down get the work happening from your shoulders your thumbs are facing forwards and we're going to do 40 circles forward so one two three four five six seven eight 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. Shake it off, up to the top, hands behind, and off you go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. So you should feel that really kind of burning and moving those shoulder blades and this type of area. If your neck feels tense, you are probably using your head to kind of pull you forward and we're clamping up around it. There's no reason for the neck to get involved, so keep that relaxed. Think about the work happening a little bit lower down than that. That's standing arm circles. The next exercise that we're going to do, and this should be interesting on the cobbles, is I'm taking my legs wide like so. I'm still keeping my feet slightly pigeon toed. So my toes are slightly closer to my body than my ankles are. That is important because it changes what happens at your hips. You're keeping your legs straight and you're pivoting forward from your pelvis to try and touch the floor. And I'm gonna show you that from the side because this is not about your spine bending, it's about your pelvis hinging. So this is not about curling through your spine to try and touch the floor. It's about feeling like that pivot is happening there. Can you see how my spine still stays straight as I go down towards the floor? We want to try and encourage this hinging motion like that. So I'm going to keep the legs wide and I'm going to do 30 seconds forwards. I'm gonna squeeze my, this is quite difficult on barefoot on these cobbles. I'm gonna squeeze my quads, my thigh muscles and contract them and hold them. And I'm gonna try and keep my knees facing straight ahead as I count down from 30. So off we go. So 30, 29, 28, 27, 26, 27, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So I'm really keeping my quads engaged, I'm really pulling my kneecaps up and I'm making sure that my kneecaps go forward and don't edge off to the side. Now I'm going to go to the right hand side but I'm not going to let, let my left bum cheek kind of pull away. I'm still focusing backwards with that left bum cheek and I'm just moving my torso to the side. 30, 29, 28, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 
I've had to do a retake as my friend's future father-in-law came up to me on a quad bike and asked if I was okay because I was barefoot on the gravel. Um, so we're going to carry on. <laughs> Okay, so we've done the right hand side and now I'm going to stretch to the left hand side. So same thing again, making sure that my toes are pigeon toes, slightly inwards, my knees are straight, my quads are locked on, my knees are facing forward. And we're going to the side. 30, 29, 28, 27, 26, 27, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And I'm going to go for another 30, count of 30, facing forward straight again. So I'm trying to get myself down low to the floor, but this is not about my spine, it's about my pelvis hinging me forwards. So 30, 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And the final exercise that I'm going to do in this little sequence is I'm just going to do a standing hang. And a standing hang is simply standing like so. My feet are feet hip width apart. I'm trying really hard not to shunt my pelvis back behind my ankles. So I don't want this going on. My pelvis is behind my ankles here. I'm trying to keep my pelvis above my heels, which means that my weight is actually going to feel almost like it's coming forward slightly. So try and keep the weight almost in the balls of your toes. And you can see when I do that, that it keeps my pelvis more above my ankles rather than shoving it backwards. This is a compensation and I'm not particularly good at this, but I'm gonna try my hardest. I'm just gonna fold my arms. It doesn't matter here if my spine rounds. This is just more about allowing that spine to like release off through the weight of my head. So I'm just gonna stand here for a minute, try and keep my pelvis above my ankles and keep my knees straight. So. 16, 36, 35, 34, 33, 32, 31, 30, 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Shake it all up. So, oh, the ducks are going mad as well. I will definitely be doing more than that today. That is certainly not the extent of what stretches and movements I'm going to be doing to try and keep my body in check, in check as I'm making my way up to Scotland. But those are just three ideas of things that you can start integrating into your daily routine so that you just don't feel so stiff. The answer to moving better 
is always by exploring movement more, but maybe mo moving differently to what you have been doing so far. So I hope you enjoy those. I hope you enjoy my lovely scenery here and there will be more of this to come.